Uh, yeah, it feels really good. Obviously, it's been a long time coming, 11 and a half months. Um, legs started to feel a little bit towards the 50, 60 minute mark, but just, just so happy to be fit and healthy and out on the pitch. So, Were you nervous? A little bit, yeah, before. I, I, obviously, you have a little bit of nerves and stuff, but it's just, see, you want your knee to hold out, and after all I've been through over the last couple of weeks with my partner and the, the little one, because my partner had a traumatic labour and stuff, so I'd, and it's just like the little, like an icing on the cake in the end, which was, uh, it's nice. You were involved in quite a big tackle quite early on as well. Was that like the intention to get stuck in early and get that out of the way? Yeah, because you can't train for things like that. Um, we do all con we do stuff contact and training and stuff, but you can't really you can't really train for things like that. So it's good to test it out early. But it felt really good and strong, so there's no reason why I can't uh, crack on next week now Monday, get back into training and really kick on, get some more minutes under my belt. Is it like riding a bike when you get back on a pitch after a long time? Do you just click back into the habits? Yeah, you do. Like you're talking, getting people sort of where you want them and stuff just does come naturally. Obviously, times on the ball, you're a bit sloppy. Maybe like today in a few diags too many, but it's just like you say, it does come back slowly but surely. But there's plenty more to come yet. That's like you say, it's the first, uh, it's the first step on the ladder. What do you make of today's game? Um, it's a typical pre-season game. <laughs> They're always tough. These are these play play some nice football and. It's tough, you're mixing the teams and lads coming on and off and it is typical pre-season games and you can't, obviously you can get minutes under your belt but you can never replicate what league football's like because it's totally different. Congrats on the uh, the kid. Have you had much sleep at all in the last couple of weeks? No, none, no. no. Uh, my partner had a real bad labour so all last week I was in hospital with her overnight. Uh, for six. She was in for a week uh, but this week I've been back fully training and then top it off with a game. It's a testament to myself but to for Snod and Charlie and uh, Norm as well to let me play today because sometimes it can be a bit precautious with you where they don't let you play but it's just good to be out there. What did you have? Hey little boy. Congratulations. Yeah, cheers, thank you. Hey, what was it like playing in front of a crowd again today? Oh it's brilliant, uh, just the build up all day, the morning waking up, having your breakfast, having your pre-match meal, uh, it's just got, the, got me the bug back again, uh, I've really missed it and obviously you're not going to be where you where you want to be straight away, but that'll come. It's eleven and a half months since my last game, so uh, just getting getting the minutes in my legs. Did you expect to play that much minutes today? I was coming off at half time originally, which probably would have been better when we conceded the three. But um, I said to Snods when he bought me, obviously it was a great sub in the end because uh, we ended up getting back in front. But um, yeah, I was supposed to come off, but then I just asked the gaffer if I could stay on, and uh, he let me stay on for another fifteen minutes, minutes in the legs again, which I'm happy about. What was that playing with some of the new lads today? Good, yeah, they, we've got some real good lads and some of the lads have come back real real sharp from last year as well and the tempo in training is really high now and it, it can only bode well coming into the season. All right, thank you. Cheers, thanks a lot, Pat.